Chosen Nation, what it do, what it do, what it do, baby? Chosen athlete over here, you know what I'm saying? Today is December 8th, Friday, so this video is called Going Out Later Today. And I just wanted to hop in here and talk to you guys about rest and recovery. Yes, the most important thing that is slept on, underrated, most people don't even know. Well, at least I didn't know. Sleep, rest, recovery is the most important thing. That's when growth happens. And that's when your muscle get a rest from all the work that you've been doing. That's where your brain gets to refresh. Your body has time to take in what's happening, the process that's happening, bro. Remember, um, first when I first started my fitness journey, um, I used to sleep like two hours, three hours, four hours, and then go right back to work. And then I would be in the gym for like seven straight days. Or even, I, I remember one time I went to the gym 14 days in a row, no rest. And then I was sleeping like three hours, four hours, because I used to work at three in the morning. I was making progress, obviously. I was making a little bit of progress. Like I, my eating was right, I was going to the gym. But there was so much progress I could have been made. But those progress weren't made because my sleeping wasn't intact. My nutrition was on point. Going to the gym was never an issue or a problem or anything. I was, sometimes I was even overtraining. And then what would happen is at night, I wouldn't get the sleep that my body needed in order to recover and then to grow. So obviously, like there was a change. I was still building muscle. I was still growing and everything, but it wasn't to its full potential, to its fullest potential. So that's why I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know, bro, your sleep is so important. So you could have your nutrition on point. You could be going to the gym seven days a week, but if you're not resting, and then what I mean resting is spacing your gym day, so not going seven days in a row, maybe six, five, four, whatever works for you. Just find a balance to where you're getting proper rest. And also one thing, if a muscle group in your body is sore, there is no point, there is no benefit in training it because that muscle is already fatigued from the workout that you put it through. So now it needs time to recover. And then if you just train that muscle again, you're just gonna risk injuring yourself. Bro, that muscle's not gonna grow because you're not giving it the time to grow. And the time it grows is when you're resting and sleep is the one of the most important because that's when you sleep for like seven or eight hours. Your muscle is recovering throughout all that time. Yeah, just make sure you have your sleep intact. Also, make sure you're taking days off the gym. Don't be going seven days straight days like I was doing. I wish someone had told me all this information when I first started my fitness journey. These are things I wish I knew because my diet was on point, going to the gym was on point, but my recovery was not on point. So I wasn't having rest days. I wasn't sleeping at night. In order for you to grow, in order for you to see progress, you have to let your body recover. So now what I do, I probably go to the gym four days a week, five days a week now. You, you'll never see me go six days in a week. I don't know, I feel like that's, that doesn't work for me. It's not my cup of tea. So I go to the gym like four or five days a week. And then within those weeks, I take like those rest days in between. And also at night, I sleep like seven hours, eight hours now. And then now I'm obviously much more bigger, more muscle mass. And just the journey is going, going as it's supposed to. When I'm comparing myself now to back then. I'm like, bro, I really had no muscle mass whatsoever. But that's how it's going to be, obviously. But it's just the progress I could have had could have been way much higher, way much higher if I had been recovering properly. We all think, yo, go to the gym, that's where it all happens, this, 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 that. Yo, and then I used to be guys, bro, I'm good off of three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, that's all I need. But bro, that is not the fact, that is not true. You need seven to eight hours at least minimum. Sleep is so important. That's where all your recovery, that's where your body just resets your brain, your body, mentally, physically. Bro, take that into account. Prioritize your sleep, prioritize your rest, and you'll see better progress in the gym. As for me right now, what I'm taking is magnesium and this a melatonin sleeping pill. So the thing is, our body do produce melatonin, but it's just not enough. So I supplement magnesium and melatonin just to help me sleep, to get some nice and restful sleep while I'm sleeping. And also 
I'll drink some tea sometime, not all the time, right before bed to really get me like, you know, into that sleepy mode. That is the most important thing while you're on your journey. This is why you're not making as much gains or this is why you're not seeing no progress because you're hitting the gym, right? Your nutrition is on point, but your sleeping is not on point. Your recovery is not a point. Your rest is not on point. So from now on, if you're watching this video, just make sure your rest is on point. I remember this this Instagram post. It's like back then we thought it was cool to to go to bed late, but now what's cool is getting seven to eight hours of sleep. I'm like, wow, that is so facts. Back then it was a flex going to bed super late. And back then I used to go to bed like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I remember those those 2K days. I used to do a whole 24 hours playing 2K, going to bed at 11 in the morning. On, on Saturdays, bro, these were wild days. But I was in the gym back then, I was still in high school, but now I know better ever made before. And obviously I didn't have those knowledge back then and I just wish someone had told me that back then. And I just knew about it. I could have been making way better greens, but you live and you learn. So prioritize your sleep, you'll see better greens in the gym. So that's about it. That's all I wanted to hop on here and say sleep is so important and for longevity too so let's say today I sleep for like four hours and then i'm like the next day i'm gonna catch up on it you can't catch up on sleep uh, once that day is over that day is over you cannot be like yo i slept for four hours yesterday i'm gonna catch up today for 12 hours no you can't do that that day is gone just make make sure you have that in mind especially if you're someone who goes hard in the gym and you're trying to see gains your sleep your recovery matters just as important as your nutrition as going to the gym. I hope you guys are doing phenomenal, amazing. If you guys have any questions or if you guys want to let me know something also that could help me with my sleep, although it's fine, or something that you found that that worked for you, leave them in the comment. We're all here trying to learn. This is just what I know from my experience and what I've also heard. And then obviously there's so many research on this, on your sleep, your recovery. So this is what i know i'm letting you guys know so if you guys do know something that i don't or you guys have something you want to share share it down below in the comment and as always i appreciate you i hope god blesses you and yeah i'm out